Come one, come all. Welcome to a series of crazy, death-defying, stunning stunts. You're watching Crash Remakes. Next morning, he took some freight cars to the coal yards. Then he had to push empty freight cars to the mine shaft. When he arrived, there was trouble. The foreman spoke to his driver. The freight cars are stuck on the mechanism. All they need is a good push. We'll do it right away. Percy shunted back to where a large canvas barrier was used to protect his line from loose rocks. Percy charged at the line of freight cars too fast and too hard. Oh no, gasped Percy. The freight cars broke free, but ran out of control to the mines below. On, on, faster, faster, the silly freight cars yelled. Then there was trouble again. Get out of here fast! The mine's collapsing! We'll just have to make a run for it, Percy! called his driver. There's going to be an avalanche! wailed Percy. And he was right! Worse still, the track he was on began to crumble. Oh, help! wailed Percy. Then he remembered something he had seen earlier. There's a canvas barrier by the track. That might save us. They were just in time. Percy was right. The canvas did indeed save them, but the miners didn't know that. The avalanche has buried an engine and its crew, shouted the foreman. We must help them! Then, in the distance, Duck saw a man waving a red flag. That meant danger. The line here crosses a narrow road, and there was Bulgy, wedged firmly under the bridge. So this was his shortcut, chuckled Duck. He tricked us, shouted Bulgy's passengers. He said he was a railway bus, but he wouldn't accept our return tickets. He wanted us to think railways are no good. Duck's crew examined the bridge. It's risky, but we must help the passengers. Passengers are urgent, agreed Duck. Duck slowly and carefully set off across the bridge. Bulgy wailed as he felt the bridge quiver. Oh, oh, oh. Stop, he shouted. It might fall on me. That would serve you right for telling lies, said Duck. But the bridge didn't collapse. Then the foreman shouted, Oliver, move this rock. I'll do it, cried Jack. Jack scooped a bucket full of rock. Stop, shouted his oiler. But he didn't stop. He was too eager to help. No! But it was too late. Oh, no, he cried. Whoops, Jack sputtered. Miss Jenny was glad Jack wasn't hurt, but she was disappointed. Well, that's it for this installment of Crash Remakes. If you enjoyed this episode, please make sure to like, subscribe, and comment for more videos like these. If you'd like to, you can share it with your friends. Until next time, I'll catch y'all later. Peace. P.S. This video is for general audiences, bitch!